We're going to talk a little bit about how to build on the skills with your young dog. So you've been through all of your formal hand training. Everything's going well there. You've introduced them to cover. Uh, everything's going well. And how do you build on that? That's the next stage, right? So you got to think about, well, I'm ready to push this dog on a little bit more. This is the point in my mind and in our program that I start thinking about the hunting situations I'm going to put that dog into over its life. And there's no way you can predict what your hunting situation is going to be over the next 10 years. But if you've been hunting long enough, you, you got an idea of where you're going to be and think back of situations that you've been in on your duck hunt where you either struggled with your dog or your dog did really well or boy, I wish I would have worked on this with my dog when I was training it. So those are the kinds of things that I start thinking about when I'm bringing my dog out of the young gun dog stage and I want to start building up those skills. So we're just going to go out. We've got young Drew here. He's coming out of that stage actually. And we're just going to start thinking of some scenarios and some situations uh, that we can put her in just to build on the skills that she's learned coming out of her formal hand training. With the dog at this stage and even with my older dogs, when I'm out in a training situation, there may be some specific things that I'm going to work on, but I really try to think about setting it up like an actual hunt. You know, if I'm walking around, I see a piece of cover, oh, you know, that'd be a likely spot for a bird to be, or if you've shot one and wounded it, it's going to sail into that kind of piece of cover. I may stop and just set up a little situation right there. And we're actually going to do that right here. This is a good piece of cover. And maybe we've just clipped a teal or something like that, a small bird. So I'm just gonna pull out a little tennis ball and I'm just gonna pitch it into this cover. Cause that could happen when you're out on a, on a hunt. Pull back. Good girl, good girl. So what I'm looking for there with the young dog is were they steady? Were they under control? Did they listen to me? And she did everything perfectly there. So I've got no issues with that one particular little exercise that we did. So from here, I can move on. If we find ourselves in a situation where we do have a little problem, that's perfect because you're training. What you want to do is stop right there and say, what was the problem? And then fix it right then and there and get it right. And then you can move on. Here, I'm just going to drop a bumper behind me. And we're just going to set up a little blind. She didn't see that fall, I don't think. So here, what I'm wanting to do is just see, does she understand when I point and send her, does she go? Because she doesn't know there's anything back there. She just has to believe me that there is. Hold back. Good girl, good. So that was an important exercise there because she didn't know anything was back there. That was, this was a true blind, meaning she doesn't know anything's there, but I do. So she was required to run a straight line, stop, handle for me. I had to direct her to find this, and this is part of the teamwork that you've got to build with your dog. We talked about bonding and socializations and relationships with your dogs. Understand that this is a team. You're 50% of the team, your dog's 50% of the team, so you've got to be able to work together. That was perfect right there. We worked well together as a team, we got our bird. These are the things that you wanna look for when we talk about building upon the skills coming out of the young gun dog stage. Go through and set up exercises where you have to use all of the skills that you and your dog have learned coming out of your formal hand training. This is where you really solidify and put the polish on. Um, this is getting your young dog ready to go out for the first time on that live duck hunt uh, after they're coming out of their young gun dog training. Most people are excited and they're ready to take their dog right out to the duck blind and shoot 100 ducks over them. And I'm going to tell you that's the last thing you should do the first year with your dog. It's important that you get in the mindset that the first hunting season with your young dog is all about the dog. And what do I mean by that? The best scenario I can tell you is get a buddy or two buddies at most and go out and everybody understands that that hunting day is for the dog and you're not going out looking to shoot two or three limits of birds. What you're looking for is to shoot two, three, or four where you've got a situation that it's very easy for the dog to go out and pick up those birds. You want to set your dog up for success that first year. It's not about going out and shooting two, three hundred birds. It's really about does all my training transition 
into those hunting situations. There's nothing you can do in training that can replicate a live hunt. As hard as we've tried, there's not a good way to do it. A live hunt is a live hunt. You can't possibly know what to expect when you're out there in that duck blind. You don't know where the birds are gonna come from. You don't know how you're gonna to have to shoot at them. You don't know where the, what kind of cover the birds are gonna end up in. All that's gonna be stuff that you can't train for that you've got to actually use that situation as a teaching moment with your dog. So the first year is important. It's not about shooting a lot of birds. It's about focusing on your dog. Is all your training set? Look for any holes, deficiencies in your training. That's what you want that first year. Then you can come out of that season, go work on all of those in the off season, then that second year, then you can start looking about going out and really shooting a lot of birds.